Hi, friends. I can't believe that summer's almost over. Are you looking forward to going back to school? Are you dreading it? Personally, I love school. I love getting to see all my friends and learning new things. Every day is something different. Here at Omaha Children's Museum, we're getting ready to throw our own back to school bash. There is no way that you won't learn something there, especially how to avoid double negatives. Today, we're making one of my favorite things. Seriously, I've been waiting months to do this. We are making oobleck. Oobleck is a fascinating substance because it is what is known as a non-Newtonian fluid. That means it can be both a liquid and a solid. It just depends on how much force you push on it. Another non-Newtonian fluid that you use is ketchup. Did you ever notice how it's a lot more runny when you shake it up really fast and then it feels really solid when you leave it out for a long time? Here's what you'll need. Water, cornstarch, a bowl or container, measuring cups, and food coloring if you want it to be a fun color. This recipe is super easy because all you need is twice as much cornstarch as water. This also helps you practice your math and you can make as much or as little as you want. You can use one cup water with two cups cornstarch or 30 pounds of water with 60 pounds of cornstarch. The limits are endless. For today, we'll stick with the first recipe. Measure out one cup water with two cups cornstarch. Step two, combine the water and the cornstarch in a bowl or container. Feel free to add food coloring to make it a fun color. That's it. Once it's all mixed together, we'll have oobleck. We moved my oobleck to a bigger tub because I got my ratios a little off. Plus, we're going to add this fun watercolor so that it doesn't look so milky. You can already see the oobleck working its magic while it's trying to mix that color in because it's resisting my hand while I'm stirring it. Now, I highly encourage putting down a tablecloth just to keep it for easy cleanup. Let's see what happens when I apply a lot of force to the oobleck. That's so cool. Let's watch it again. It resisted my hand like a solid. Now, let's only use a little force. Notice how the oobleck wraps around my hand like a liquid. That's because the molecules have enough time to spread apart. When something hits it with a lot of force, the molecules don't have the time to spread around it and act like a solid. One thing that you can do with oobleck is fill it up in a balloon and use it as a stress ball. Whoop. Now this takes a lot of patience so that the oobleck doesn't become solid while you're pouring it. If you just pour it into a little bottle. And then wrap your balloon over top. You can push your oobleck into your balloon and make it as big as it needs to be for your stress ball. And then tie off the end. Fun fact, oobleck got its name from the book Bartholomew and the Oobleck by Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Who else would come up with such a crazy name? Can you find other non-Newtonian fluids around your house? Grab your family and take a look. And we hope to see you at our Back to School Bash at Omaha Children's Museum, August 11th through the 13th. See you then.